so smooth game, man. Check this out, right? So I'm out here in the garage, and I had to bring Jennifer out here to rate the box shipping. So you do know I'm giving this car away right now. Yeah. So yeah, somebody go win this car. So I want to get your honest opinion on how it look, like from the wheels, the details, from how it feel when you sit inside of it. If we don't got the miles on the team, we gotta figure out the car show date. If you come back before the car show date is figured out, I'm gonna let you drive this on, bitch. You had to get the key, mama, you know what I mean? I'm a fiend for color gold, as y'all can see. I think it looks very, like, very fine, very classy, very, like. You don't even know, man. You know what year this car is? No. It's a 19. It's, cars, it's a 1989 Bach Shaver Caprice. Yeah, the interior. Yeah, it's the interior. Let me, let me unlock the door real quick. Let me see. Yeah, not the interior. Okay. What um, material is this? Shit, some serious. I'm telling you, one thing I like about the boss here, bro, when you ride in, when you turn that music on, so I would turn it on here, but stay on. I don't know. I mean, why not? I could. So you uh, you ever kissed a nigga in the old school before? No. Why not? Cause I never met a nigga with an old school. <laughs> I never had a nigga with an old school. You never had a nigga with an old school. So how you think you would feel kissing a nigga in the old school? How you think that? How to feel? See, you see how I smell in here? See, this will be a smell that you will never forget. Nah, for real, like dead ass. Why you say that? I just, I feel like, you know, because a lot of girls don't have that. Yo, even the top. Oh, is... yeah, sway, you know what I mean? It's, you go crazy. So, I want. Uh, so, I, this is basically like the modern, like, you know, like the Lexus or the Benz, like, you know how it be like red and No, so this Chevy. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, this, like, this, they've been doing this shit. Oh, yeah, man, you see it. We've been doing it. Wait, look, look at my floor. Yeah, that's dope. The floor is carpet. So it's just like, you know. I gotta let you drive it. I want you to drive it. I wanna see what how. Oh yeah, this so this so, so it's metal. Okay, my Tesla gonna be matte orange. Matte orange? Part of my old neighborhood had a matte orange. orange. No, dead that. It's in my vlogs. You can go to my vlogs and see it. I never, I never seen him. I know, it's just crazy. You said matte orange. Somebody in my neighborhood. I love orange. You know, I like, you know, orange my favorite color. I know you want to do matte orange, though. Yes. Hey man, so look, so smooth game. If y'all want to see a video of Jennifer driving a bought Chevy, I need everybody to just spam the comments right now. Y'all gotta spam the comments. Say y'all want to see Jen drive the box before we get it away. You know what I'm saying? One of y'all gonna be taking this box Chevy home. Don't forget, man. Look, link down below in the description. Go get y'all tickets. Stay tuned for the date for the car show. I'm telling y'all, y'all not wanna go miss it. You're not going to miss it. I'm telling you, it's going to be like one of the latest car shows. I'm going to invite some of the most biggest hitters out there, bro. We're going to turn up, have fun. We'll give away two cars. And you never know, man. Them boys might want to chip in and give away a car. So, shit, just stay tuned and see what's up. But, yeah, I ain't going to lie, Jen. you going to look good driving it, motherfucker. Oh, God. The steering wheel is the same as the rim. Same as the rim. That's... Detail. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Also, I'm finna go pull up on my boy though, real quick. Hey, yo, baby, compound. It ain't nothing like that, boss Chevy. You can't tell me nothing different. Oh, my mama. Hey, look, so that boy, that boy started to pull it up on us. Let me check that out. Check him out. That boy started to rock the SS outside that baby blue with the baby blue interior in that song, bitch. I ain't gonna lie, this song. Hard. Like yo, this summer gun clean as hell. The sunroof in the suede top. Damn. I like this. 
I ain't gonna lie, boy. My stomach got one, and it's sitting on all sets right now with the big, with the big fat lip in the back. Show him the fat lip, man. Show him, man. Look at the lip. The lip is lipping. The lip lipping. Well, they just said that it's popping over on South Beach, so we're gonna go on here and put some free in the box. Shit, I got like a small leak in it, so we'll find out. <laughs> What up? I had to go in there and check that car. That bitch clean as hell, man. Oh, it's a little something. That's all big clean as hell. Yeah. You gonna get away? Babe. <laughs> I said, might have to keep yeah, that one. Yeah, that clean, bro. Yeah, Where did you get that from? Texas. Ah, uh, ah, right out of Houston. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, H time, man. What yeah, yeah, yeah. H time. Yeah, they did that. Yeah, that's what. That was an ex Swift car club car. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put it up. But I, you know, I, I did my thing too. It is. Looked a little different than that. Right. Man. Man. You don't want that about all that out. You want that out to the two weeks, right? That's why they really didn't do that to this real friend. Right, right, right. This is Chicago car. No, nah, this came from um, This ain't the one that you bought from all. No, nah, that's nah, the one I bought from all where in Alabama. I gave, oh, okay. I gave it to my uncle. Okay, yeah. Got yeah. the one from Chicago. I mean, here we go. LA. Okay, okay. Where are all of them? 20,000 original miles on it. That's a little garage kill. I ain't did nothing to it. Put a rig on it. Fish right, bro. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Uh, Slamming coated. Some music here. Not that much. Put a system in it. That's a little song. Yeah, that's a little song. Yeah. 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 Ye
the same color hair. And I'm telling y'all, I think it's the same girl. So weird. Oh, bitch. What? Hey, bad dollar, let me know what you did so far. You want to get $25, 25 out of Pull up on some, on some sports betting teams. Maybe, maybe sports betting. That's all I know. That should catch our fucking attention. That's right. <laughs> oh, Train coming. It's one time. Oh, good. Slow down. Just be cool and take it slow. So we run, we like five more, actually two minutes away from our destination. Look like we over here in the hood right now to be honest with y'all, but it's where I love to be, you feel what I'm saying? It's where the inspiration gonna be given for real, for real over here when they see these cars, like, look at that right there. Yeah, she look like she from over here. Yep, she just need to see her old school. God damn, what the hell? Let me get my hands over here, cause they drive like a bed out of here. And damn poor. What, is, what, what, what is that? A fire? Don't even know. <laughs> this nigga stunt, man. Stunt back down the background. Huh? I ain't here, Gray. Why do we live in Haiti? Oh, we in Haiti with the shits. Oh, I'd have passed all that shit. Now we're going ahead and give me that. Suave! <laughs> Ride right through little Haiti, man. Actually, man, my OG over here, like, he kind of run this shit. King B! If y'all know King B, y'all already know what it is. I'm already tapped in, straight up. Ooh, I'm gonna hit that ball that in. Lord Jeezy, I'm gonna got me. Hey, nigga, stunner, man. Where the dude, man? Where we at right now, Sway? Where you got me at right now? Quiet. Tied, baby. Yeah, there you go. And yeah. then um, you know, I come from a uh, a family of I, I, my mom and my dad spent when I was a kid, so I seen a lot been through a lot. I come yeah. from a struggle. I come from being a uh, poor, you know, coming from house to house. Lost my sister in the house fight when I was like six. Yeah, saved. I tried to save her, but I saved my grandma, and she didn't make it. You know, and since I was a kid, I always grew with my pops and my grandpa. So I got my knowledge from my granddad, from my old soul. So like mentally, I'm like 40, 50 years old. You know? like, he raised me different, so I got the birth ethic from my pops. Yeah. You know, so that just, as a kid, that was- It's interesting you say that because I, I kind of feel the same way. Like I have a, obviously a little bit different background than you, but my, my grandfather was a Holocaust survivor. Oh. And he's like the patriarch of our family. He's the only one on my mom's side of the family, the only person who survived at the Holocaust camps, survived, escaped, made it to the US. And he's kind of the patriarch of my family. Like. And both my parents are therapists, like they, they're together, I had a very blessed life, you know, but they they made less in a year of my whole life than I now do in a month. And it was kind of my grandpa who kind of, I would say, like took me on the game of like being ambitious and that there's more to life than just accepting what's around you. And uh, he's 94 now and I still talk to him, try to do every day. Like whenever I get good news, he's like the first person I hit up. Like it's, uh, it's an interesting thing. I think, you know, you talk about being an old soul. I'm 36, I'm older than you, I'm sure about it. I feel like, <laughs> okay, yeah, but I feel a lot of times like I'm 36. One day I feel like I'm 36 going on 60. Mm. Some days I feel like I'm 36 going on fucking 16. But <laughs> but it, I think having the, the wisdom, no, dude, the wisdom of old people, I love, dude, old people, balanced. the older they are, man, the, the more, more I, I listen. Talk to them. Yeah, the more I listen. I'll tell you because they, they've been here longer, they experience longer, they have more to tell you, so it's just like, I go to the older people to get the wisdom because the younger person can't tell me what these person told me. Oh, I, can, bro. I can get a head start. You can, 
you can learn so much more from other people's experiences than having to experience everything on your own. I, I've, I've learned that the hard way, honestly. Yeah, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, bro. You older than me, I really tell you so much, bro. I've been learning that shit the hard way. Like, you just, but it, it comes from, it come from when you really, you really put the bet on yourself. Yep. You have to. I mean, listen, America is built to reward risk. If you, look at the, if you look at the IRS tax code, if you look at the socioeconomic makeup of our country, you are rewarded for taking risks. And it's hard to take risks in this country because a lot of odds are stacked against you, but if you can take calculated risks, I do believe, you know, I'm not talking about sports, I'm talking about life. No, I'm really uh, talking about it. It's the only way, really, to get ahead. And I mean, I, what, regardless of, of what that risk is, and what the desired outcome is, at the end of the day, you've got to do something outside the box. Otherwise, you're going to be boxed in and nothing's going to, nothing's going to come to you. I mean, the way I took my, uh, so it, basically, now to get high school, I went through, I got bullied in school and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of like, that kind of like inspired me too, like to go chase my dream. And I always had the dream that I'd be a celebrity, I'd be rich and famous, but I always had to go. It's my passion. Mm -hmm. My main purpose is to change lives. Yeah. That's what I do. So my brand is so smooth game. It's basically like giving out knowledge. Okay. But showing people how to live the life that they desire, not being trapped in the matrix. I think that aligns really well with what we're doing at Winnable because a lot of what we are doing is you know, using AI and advanced mathematics to create predictive analytics models. So my background, I wasn't always in tech and entertainment. I was always in tech, but I wasn't always in social media and entertainment. I was uh, I actually spent 10 years working in healthcare technology. So predictive analytics and machine learning for hospitals and health systems, chronic condition management, population health. And we're, you know, I wouldn't say we're applying the same principles, but some of the same technology to help get an edge on the sports books. Mm -hmm. As, you know, in 2017, 99% of sports bets were placed in brick and mortar casinos in Vegas. In 2022, 99% of sports bets were placed on iPhones outside the casino. With that digitization and democratization of sports betting has come the ability for us to digest, analyze, and predict almost on par with the brick and mortar casinos and win more money than anybody ever can. Now, I mean, there's caveats to this shit and you have to be disciplined and consistent, but I do think that betting on sports responsibly and strategically cannot only be recreational, which it always is first and foremost, but it can be a way to make money when, you know, you're looking at fucking basically every other asset class in the world and it's no sense. No sense. I mean, I, you know what's so crazy though? I'm gonna get into it. You can tell me about it. I've been seeing it. I mean, I got into it. You know Jamea Charla? Yeah, of course. That's, yeah. So that's my bro. You know what really? I'm yeah, that's like my bro. Oh, dog. dude, yeah, I like Charla. He, like he, he put me on uh, uh, what the sports bet app is. Uh, Price Price. No, nah, it was DraftKings. Oh, DraftKings, yeah. He put me on that, uh, I think like a year ago, a year and a half ago. And but I'm sitting here in the house watching him sitting here just making money on his phone. Yeah. I'm like, this shit real? He's like, yo, bro, this real. Like, I'm like, Ain't no way, bro. I'm like, nah, I, I tried to... Now, does he it. make his own picture? He probably has a guy who helps him. No, he was sitting there making his own Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we gotta get on the phone. Charlo and Spence. <laughs> you gotta put Charlo and put in touch with Spence. <laughs> I mean, dude, we want to talk to everyone. This is the thing, is like, we've spent zero dollars on sales and marketing. That's great. We have a zero dollar customer acquisition cost. Every platform I've ever built, from Greenring, to Dream, to now Winnable, it's about product. Creating a product that adds so much value creates such a needed solution for the industry that we don't have to market it. We don't need billboards. We don't need salespeople. We just create a solution that drives enough inbound interest that people are like, hell yeah, and jump on. And all it is now is relationships, making sure people know who I am, know who Winnable the platform is, know who the dream team, the agency is, the Spence, and fucking connecting the dots so that one plus one equals 10. <laughs> yeah. That's our network. Yeah, there you go, baby. Yeah, for sure, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got my little ass mm -hmm. over here. I mean, that's what I mean. Yeah, he go take I'm, I'm Noah pun intended. So you, you down for January? Yeah, yeah. Why would I not? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> it's gonna be, <laughs> question, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> No, yeah, so we're gonna have the Dream Team Mansion. Uh, we can get you can have a room okay. in the mansion, or if you want a hotel. Uh, I got a room. I made more, yeah. more content. Bro. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. That's I'm bro, so. so I built my whole empire. Wait, let me uh, accept you because I have a, I'm, a, I'm on private. I, have, I made the mistake early in my career thinking social media and press and podcasts. I was scared <laughs> to like, build my following. So now uh, I'm 36 wanted, years old with less followers. He wanted to know. <laughs> made all the damn yeah, money, but ain't on those social media. Yeah. Yeah, right there. yeah, bro, check this out. My last post on Instagram, 2014. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> 
He has me beat, Corey. Yeah. He got you beat bad. <laughs> in 2024, uh, it'll be 10 years October. But you haven't posted on it yet. I'll do a 10 year anniversary <laughs> post and be like, I love look that. at what you can accomplish when you stay off social media that. for 10 years. That's hard though. That's hard. I love that. That's a major, that's a major post. Yeah, like, right. That's why I'm like, bro, I see him give people the game all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we did this shit. Like, you know, I just tell people with the grace of God. Like, bro, and so, like, honestly speaking though, like, me, I met, I met Corey through the agency, so I was like doing outreach and stuff to the agency, and I met him. He's a fucking great dude, but like, I didn't know like his influence until, bro, I started stepping out with him, so I invited him to like an event, whatever, and bro, like all these influencers that are popping now, yeah. that walk into the event, they go up to me like, yo, we need to take a picture. Well, Come dude, on. that's the thing is, is clout comes in a lot of ways, shapes, or forms. There's this difference between, I think, size of audience mm -hmm. and quality of audience uh, as well. Yeah, and yeah, like, very, I, I, very I'll, I'll use Spence as an example. I knew Spence had a lot of followers, but it wasn't until we were driving to our meeting at Better during Art Basel, and we're on the fucking freeway in traffic, and I see this dude driving crazy behind us, <laughs> and he pulls up next to us, and he's like, Spence, look! These guys in this fucking car, this fucking sick-ass Ferrari, leaning out the window, pointing at Spence. I posted it on my Instagram, Spence Hawks, baby, Spence Hawks! I was like, damn, now that's quality, no. not just quantity of followers, because these people are IRL in real life. I mean, at the end of the day, I've been really kind of like this down, because you know, I do music now, so. Okay, cool. I'm a music artist, so that's, yeah, but this is like a crazy ass opportunity. Y'all see it on 4K. Y'all see how I get down on the interstate. Got my boy Stunner back there riding. Stunner see what I got going on. He see this box shipping and getting down. I put my foot in that motherfucker and then ride. Ain't that right, Twin? I don't watch you on camera. Why you want me on camera? Twin, twin you look good. Why you want me on camera? You look good. Tell me why. Yep, 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 man. So smooth game. Y'all see it, man. We out here in Moxes with it right now. We can get up something to eat. You know my boy Stunner just pulled the, the ocean blue SS and Paula. He got his spot. Got the McLaren, got his spot. My guy. Let him know what's going on, Spence. Spence Let's, Locks, what's good? Spence, tell him what you do best, we bro. We in Miami. Oh, sports betting. Sports betting. Y'all so, will know soon what's good. Oh, listen. If you haven't got into sports betting yet, y'all been a dash sure tune into it. Especially with me being into it right now. Big game, I'm going to so give y'all the game. Just I'm going to get the game from him. And once I get the game from him, I'm going to pass the game to y'all. And all of us are going to make money. Everyone's going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> It's simple. So it's we can buy McLaren tonight. Straight shit. up. Like, nah, for real. You can pull up, man. You know what I'm saying? You can, and listen, you can pull up in new school. You can pull up in old school. It really don't fucking matter. It's whatever you put your mind to. Hear what I say. It's whatever you put your mind to. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. 1,000%. You got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? This shit is real life. Like, y'all seeing it. Y'all watching it in 4K. We ain't faking nothing. But what if I ain't do that? Where he at? Where he at? No, the other one. The, oh, the black one. guy. I mean, I'm like, damn, you go get took care of what? <laughs> I got a piss, I'm hungry. I got to sit here, what Got these beautiful women in the background over here, like, God, damn. Swap eight, link down below, get y'all tickets ASAP, you did. What year you think that is over there? I think that's uh, 20, 18 for sure. You right, right. It's older, it's older, it's older. It's an older, it's an older, that's definitely an older one. You got people that really want to ask him, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, if you really yeah, want that shit, I just do, like, a whole, like, show. No, that's the goal. That's the goal. Like, we're going, like, so my goal right now is to bring back, uh, get my ride. Oh, that's the guy that's yeah, like no serious. <laughs> I gotta I bring that pick my ride, bro. That shit so is fire, bro. Real, that's real, a good ass fucking idea. <laughs> so so listen, so I'm gonna like certain winners gonna be able to win and we're gonna pick their car. I'm 
get their car and this is for the journey it'll be quick like whatever they need rap paint motor work reels music yeah the change the lives they call us because i wasn't going to south beach but um we were just gonna ride through there yeah. I ain't got nowhere to go. Where you going? Back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna go home. I ain't, ever since I've been with you, I haven't been on social media, so I don't know what's going on. And I'm trending right now, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go and tap again, see what's going on, and, and get back to posting. I'm, I'm gonna air yeah, right now. I'm trending. I'm you, bro, come up with I got idea, seven yeah. million views, seven million on Twitter on one of my videos that just went. Somebody got four million. Do that blind date shit. I'm lining up 20 girls. I didn't know I wanted to do that. Set it up, don't dead ass when? Whatever, I swear, <laughs> I swear to God. Yo, I swear to God, whatever, bro. Yeah, do it, bro. Don't set it up. I will hit you up and tell you that. Cause I got one for the drop. Oh yeah, you did this shit. Oh what? Yeah. You drop it. That's how I did the video with the girl, the twin, the girl. You should do some shit with you. There was like a one winner. Oh, how did it work? No, so Jennifer, the girl that looked like my ex, the one I'm supposed to right now, I'm going to buy with. She won. Nobody don't even know this yet. Yeah, I just went on here and started posting her and started doing shit ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To fuck their head up. <laughs> but then when he dropped this video, he gonna drop this like right. Mars or shit. Right. They're gonna see how and this is happen. The way they stepping in, I saw them how they spent the toys. I ain't never touched a 10. I ain't never touched a 5, but it's about 50 on the beans. Oh God. Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. This shit here was game. We down town. We down town right now. We just left Moxie from meeting with a fucking billionaire because this guy. Jeez. Chico! <laughs> 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 Give it to me. 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 Give it Really richer than these niggas. I ain't never worried about shit. Rather beef about some figures. I ain't beef about no bitch. Niggas thought of me and count me out till they see me with six figures. Fuck the boys and thank the Lord that I became a rich nigga. The boy got some bread and he go up the stove. Like the ego. This nigga can't flash when I walk through the door. Like the ego. I get from this man because I done fucked this hoe. Like the ego. Another to turn around and go back, you know it gotta be something going on with them. It's giving. Damn, why did I come this way? You know what's so crazy? The map told me from the get go, no come this way. But I was thinking the map was just being over exaggerated and didn't want me to come this way. So I'm like, but no, I'm gonna go this fucking way. It's closer. And the whole time, something that happened where it's telling me to even turn around. If it even if it tell me to turn around, that's so. You know how bad that is. You know how far I gotta turn around. That shit deep as hell. Yo, so smooth game. This is crazy. My boy, that, my boy, that drive. My boy, ride to the Texas shit. I'm starting with someone to die. I'm the reason I'm being odd. I'm all I got popped in the job. That's just a little lonely. So I'm gonna tell y'all my spot. Why start with someone to die? I'm like, I'm being odd. I feel like I'm in the job. Over here, I'm gonna order. You, you got some food? No, just let me go. 
with a hot dog. It's Wagyu beef. Oh, it's uh, really high quality beef. Okay, give me two, give me one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get it cut in half. So you wanna split it? Or how, how big is it? How big is it? Just, it's a regular half. Yeah, it's good, yeah, you know. But it's still kind of one Yeah, it's neither. It's Canadian bike. Oh, that's, 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 that's that booze shit. That's that, 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 that Canadian shit. All that, all that camera inside. Who the fuck cut a hot dog? I ain't never heard nobody cut no hot dog. Like, yeah. I need to get Go take a bitch. Go take a bitch. Listen, so you got some. So you got some. You got some dope ass shorts on. Your shirt, skirt. So your skirt dope. Yes, it is. If I had my real camera, bro. I don't lie to y'all, bro. If y'all just have to deal, bro. Like, these girls just don't. They don't never have it all figured out. Like they always. I never heard a man complain because I'm being laid back. Well, here's I'm not doing that. Clearly, I'm not doing that. Come on, man. He over there sitting there. He think I'm gonna see him in the kitchen. I'm gonna call him like it. It's over with. So, so we're gonna see Three. if this man gonna make this shot right here real quick. He made two shots. That's it. That's all bad. You gotta make more than that, man. You put all these goals in, make two shots.